Welcome back everyone. I'm Blake and this is my garage. Today we're going to be back on the golf cart, but first a little story. So we've had some excellent weather the last few weeks here in the south and any Jeep owner knows that when you have excellent weather, you strip your Jeep down. As you've seen in one of Eugene's videos, he had his tube doors rocking, no windows. So whenever it's stripped down like that, I prefer to keep them inside the garage overnight so that there's no critters that get inside, cats or what have you. Well, when Eugene's in the garage, it's kind of tight in here, accidents happen, and now we get to replace the mirrors on the golf cart. Whoops. So the golf cart has been dubbed the Doodle Buggy because of our Doodle Mix puppy that likes to ride with us. And the old mirrors mounted here on the frame the other side was actually stripped and loose, so I'm not really heartbroken over the fact that it broke. I don't like having the holes in the rod though, so I'm gonna see about covering those up. But we're gonna mount some new ones up, probably a little bit higher to give me a better field of view. So now we're gonna do an unbox on the uh, new mirrors and we'll see what we got. The new mirrors came from Amazon, of course. I love Amazon, especially Prime. Um, they're the Amazon suggested ones, the main ones you find when you look for golf cart mirrors. Nothing special. Um, we're going to open it up see what they come with. All right. Got a couple of mirrors here. Looks like they have a pivot. So you can fold them in. They do not pivot up and down, though, it looks like. Maybe they do a little bit. Got some hardware. Looks like we got some coarse, through, coarse screws for solid mount and some threaded machine screw for through mount, hollow mount. I'll probably use the hollow mounts. They look like they're in good shape. The glass is nice and clear. ABS plastic, no cracks. They're not high end, but they don't have to be for a golf cart. So let's see where we're going to mount them. I did manage to find some instructions in the bottom of the box. They're pretty basic, but they're there. It says uh, if the windshield, windshield sash is steel, drill four holes with a power drill, tighten the mounting screws and the hex nut, and that completes your installation. It doesn't say how high up to put them. Or anything like that so I guess we're gonna to have to um, just play around with it uh, see what angle I want them to be at I'm probably gonna stick them on there with some zip ties real quick just so I can get an idea how high off the ground I want them what the field of view is make sure they're mounted in the right place so I'm gonna try that out and we'll see what happens all right from my cart 11 and 3 quarters down from the uh, the roof line here seems to be the proper distance so I went ahead and put a little piece of tape here and marked it at the base of the mirror so I can replicate that on the other side. I'm going to take this one off, get everything taped up, and then we'll get ready to punch our holes. So the instructions don't come with a, a template. So I cut out the bottom little white section of the instruction booklet here. And I'm going to use that to make a template real quick. And then we'll get it drawn up so we can drill our holes. 
All right, so I made a couple of holes and I lined up the bottom of the mirror here so I know where to line it up on my line. I'm gonna mark those real quick and we'll be ready to drill. All right, so this is the hardware that it comes with. So this should be the proper drill bit. I prefer to use a small drill bit to start so I get a nice centered hole and then work my way up to the right size. So I'm gonna go ahead and get chucked up and start on that. First though, I'm gonna center punch. because I wanna make sure that we're centered in those holes. So I'm gonna do a center punch real quick and then we'll start drilling. Well guys, I made a boo-boo. I totally forgot that I had run the speaker wire inside that frame and I drilled through it on both sides. See daylight? Yeah, there's no speaker wire anymore. So I'm gonna have to rerun the speaker wire before I put those bolts in because they're just gonna keep it from running. Um, I wanna get that figured out and then I'll get the mirrors up and then I'll get some video of them once I get done with it. It'll be a little while though. Thanks for waiting. All right, so I ordered some speaker wire, fixed my boo-boo, and I got the mirrors finally installed. I'll give you a quick shot of what they look like just so that you understand what to expect if you buy this model. So here they are installed. They're pretty solid. They have a nut underneath that you can tighten it up so that once you get them pointed in the right direction, you can snug them up so they don't move around. These are a little long for my liking. That's probably because there's multiple sizes of this bar, so they have to be universal. I will probably either cut those off or just go get some shorter hardware. I don't like that sticking out. But they're in, they're solid, they're not wiggly, and you can see behind you. So I call that a win. So that's it for this one. This project is done. As always, thank you guys for hanging out with me here in the garage. Hopefully my videos have helped you with your own projects. Uh, please give me some likes, uh, subscribe to the channel so that you get updates whenever I put new videos in. If you have any comments or questions, you can send those over. Uh, I love reading your comments. Um, as always, you guys stay safe and rock on.